Hi everyone, we are going to discuss in this video lecture aspiration pneumonia or also known as Mendelssohn syndrome by Aitor as uh, Mendelssohn firstly tried to study this aspiration in uh, rabbits with gastric acid or gastric content that is considered sterile and produced of course inflammation and erosions of the respiratory pathways. So it uh, uh, carries his name like Mendelssohn syndrome. What are the objectives of our uh, video lecture? I want to mention that I have nothing to disclose and this video is mostly for educational purpose. So we have to identify the pathophysiology, review the evaluation of patients and review treatment and management options available for aspiration pneumonia. And also summarize interprofessional team strategies for improving care and outcomes in patients with aspiration pneumonia. Aspiration pneumonia by definition is an infectious pulmonary process that occurs after abnormal entry of fluids into the lower respiratory tract. An aspirated fluid can be or pharyngeal uh, secretions or gastric content. The term aspiration pneumonitis refers to inhalational acute lung injury that occurs after aspiration of uh, sterile gastric contents. Uh, some uh, part of statistic, like uh, for hospitalized patients, the risk for community-acquired pneumonia in developing aspiration pneumonia is found to be 13.8%. So hospitalized patient carries a high risk and mortality rate after aspiration pneumonia is are very high and can reach even 70%. So defense mechanism uh, that uh, naturally occur failure and of course uh, occur aspiration uh, pneumonia. So which ones are like closure of uh, glottis and cough reflex which increases uh, the risk. If these mechanisms are affected a very high risk of aspiration and the Common risk factors include altered mental status or loss of consciousness, neurologic disorders, esophageal motility disorders, protected vomiting or massive vomiting, and gastric outlet obstruction. Uh, about uh, organisms or uh, which uh, bacteria affect mostly Involved in community-acquired pneumonia are streptococci, hemophilus, and gram-negative bacilli. And some uh, protective, uh, prospective sorry, studies um, uh, of 95 patients showed that gram-negative bacilli contributed to 49% followed by anaerobes. And anaerobes are mostly Fusobacterium, Bacteroides, and Pepto-Streptococcus. Uh, in hospital acquired uh, gram negative organisms and specially dominated, dominated by uh, Pseudomonas aeruginosa. Uh, here you see some conditions that increase risk of aspiration pneumonia, like stroke, drug overdose, alcohol use disorder, seizure, general anesthesia, head trauma, intracranial mass, dementia. Uh, all of them are, uh, are uh, accompanied by loss of uh, consciousness or altered mental status. Parkinsonism, esophageal strictures or stricture, say the bulbar syndrome, tracheostomy, uh, nasogastric tube, uh, place it, which uh, makes some uh, dysfunction or malfunction of the swelling of the saliva and uh, nasal secretions as well as they make a post-nasal drip of content. Bronchoscopy as manipulatory uh, uh, action, protected vomiting or a massive vomiting and gastroesophageal reflux, especially at uh, night time. Uh, pathophysiology in healthy adults, a mucociliary mechanism and alveolar macrophage act as a, a Act as defenses in clearing micro aspirations from the oropharyngeal secretions. So any foreign bodies that coming to the our respiratory pathways are cleared, particles or any secretions. 
The pathological process of aspiration pneumonia occurs when the normal defense mechanisms fall in a predisposed individuals. And we uh, accounted all uh, the conditions that could be accompanied by increased risk of aspiration pneumonia. So the intro of fluid into the bronchi and alveolar space triggers an anti-inflammatory reaction with the release of pro-inflammatory cytokines, interleukins, and TNF or tumor necrosis factor. An inoculation of organism of uh, common flora from the oropharynx and esophagus result in the infectious process. The flora in uh, oral cavities that usually is normal can be very dangerous for uh, pulmons. And Mendelssohn, as I mentioned, was first uh, that studied the pathophysiology of aspiration in rabbits. So inducing gastric content uh, into the uh, rabbit's lungs. Clinical signs, the most common clinical features that should raise suspicion for aspiration pneumonia, sudden onset of dyspnea, fever, hypoxemia, uh, and radiological findings of bilateral infiltrates, crackless on lung auscultation. And here we have to mention that position is very important. The most common side involved depends on, on the position at time of aspiration. So commonly lower lobes are involved in an upright position. So if patient stay standing or stay staying upright, uh, lower lobes uh, are involved. Superior lobes can be involved in the recumbent position. And uh, useful for us it could be a radiological finding, which will develop within two hours after aspiration. How about bronchoscopy? It can reveal uh, erythematous bronchi. So a high level of suspicion in diagnosing uh, aspiration pneumonia should be in critically ill patients, which are hospitalized and mostly uh, in a uh, uh, intensive care unit. Antibiotic treatment should be initiated immediately and imaging uh, studies should not delay the treatment. Uh, useful for us uh, in diagnosis could be uh, X-ray and CT scan of the chest, and are commonly ut utilized, it, uh, which help in localizing the site of aspiration. In aspiration pneumonitis, a large volume of gastric content uh, has to be aspirated to produce chemical pneumonitis and qu can quickly progress to acute lung injury with subsequent uh, acute respiratory distress syndrome, of course. And aspiration pneumonia is kind of different, and it means that aspiration can be of smaller volumes and can be unwitnessed, which um, with inoculation of bacteria progress to features of pneumonia. And subsequent, of course, uh, a little bit of edema and uh, acute respiratory distress syndrome. On a chest X-ray, the right lower uh, lobe is mostly, uh, most frequently involved by anatomical structure and angles that is uh, uh, predisposed to aspiration. Patients who have aspired while upright uh, may have bilateral lower lobe involvement. Patient lying on on the left uh, side or in the left lateral decubitus position tend to have left-sided infiltrates. And the involvement of the right upper lobe is more common in patients who aspirate in the prune position and thus with alcohol use disorder. What is the treatment of aspiration uh, pneumonia? Uh, of course, uh, position of the patient, suction, of the oropharyngeal contents and placement of the nasogastric tube to prevent uh, reflux and vomiting. And of course, stomach decompression uh, by air. In patients who are not uh, intubated, uh, uh, humidified uh, oxygen is administered and hand, head end of the bed uh, should be raised uh, by 45 uh, degrees or at least 30 degrees. A close monitoring of patients 
oxygen saturation is important and um, everything for immediate intubation uh, and mechanical ventilation should be provided and uh, initiated if hypoxia is noted. Flexible bronchoscopy is really indicated for large volume aspiration to clear the secretions and also for obtaining the sample of a bronchoalveolar leverage to detect the bacteria and bacteriological studies. Antibiotics, so the choice for community acquired aspiration pneumonia are ampicillin, sulbactam, or a combination of metronidazole and amoxicillin. In patients with penicillin allergy, clindamycin uh, is preferred to cover also resistant gram negative bacteria like uh, Staphylococcus aureus, use combination of vancomycin and piperacillin tazobactam. Once organism is detected, of course, uh, anti antibiotics should be uh, given a targeted and narrow uh, uh, antibacterials, so antibiotics corresponding to the uh, antibiotic gram. Differential diagnosis should be done with acute respiratory distress syndrome, bronchitis, um, mycoplasma pneumonia, uh, COPD or chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, viral pneumonia, and septic shock. Uh, complications as well, uh, ARDS or acute respiratory distress syndrome could be a complication or could be a additional or concomitant uh, diagnosis. MPMA, lung abscess, most common, a parapneumonic effusion or pleural effusion or respiratory failure. Thank you very much and have a great time, guys.